Welcome to Honey and Brown. Kotaro. Yes, Kotaro lives alone. Uh, yeah. Welcome to our channel where we do anime yes. and music. Mm -hmm. That's our life. Yeah. Doing anime for this one here. What yeah. are we doing? Kotaro lives alone. Episode five. Yes, it's been a crazy good anime so far. Very emotional. Very I love it. Very heartwarming slash heart wrenching. Very much soul lifting, soul crushing. It's just. <laughs> It's been a wave of emotions, you know, we're, you know, we're following this character named Kotaro and he's living alone and you're kind of figuring out a bit of his past and um, kind of like a bit of his traumatic childhood and, you know, but how he's kind of building a family with these people in this apartment building and you're just seeing his day to day life and just you're just seeing him like li like living alone in life and it's super sad, but it's also super uplifting because he is gaining a family with these people in the apartment and it's it's so beautiful and i think it's just a reminder for us to be appreciative and grateful for what we have yeah this is a very good idea yeah. for that like it's a very good like it's like a simple meaning but you know sometimes the simplicity gets lost because we just take it for granted right and exactly this anime just shows that life can always be worse for for other people and mm -hmm. we should be grateful for our you know for our very few things that you know make us like happy because you know people have it worse and this show just shows right like you see the kids that kotaro is interacting with in the last couple of episodes and you see how easy their life is and how the stuff they complain about is stuff that kotaro doesn't even have i know, you know like no one to worry about him yeah. no one to like you know nothing man so yeah. it's very very good anime like not good very great anime but uh, amazing but anyways i just want to before we start this just again thank you so much for people that are watching subscribing commenting it's uh it's amazing we're we're so blessed and we're so grateful for every single one that you know even if you don't comment just by liking or watching the video we're just very appreciative towards that um, i know we're so happy that you guys are joining us on this kotaro journey as well as if you're here for you know the mj stuff or the spy family stuff or you know just like the nerd culture in general we're just very mm -hmm. happy that you're joining us but yeah if, if you like what you see here please give this video a like subscribe comment you know share the video around you know we're trying to get up to a, a thousand subscribers soon and we're also trying yeah. to like make sure this anime kind of gets more of a shine too because yeah i mean i think it's starting to a bit i've been seeing a bit more people um reacting and reviewing to this now so i'm like i'm kind of happy that it's finally thank god you know getting a bit of a shine right mm -hmm. I, it's definitely going to be overshadowed by all the big animes right now mm -hmm. and because i think it's it's on netflix people aren't really giving it um its due but man when you watch this it's one of the it's one of the best animes of this year so far like it's a it's it's in contender such a good yeah slice of life. it can definitely be a top 10 of this year um mm -hmm. but yeah it's very good but anyways let's get on to it this is kotaro lives alone episode five yes this kid again eh oh my god thanks a lot you guys i could eh? may i offer my tissues as well Oh, what kind of tissues do you have? These are soft, moisturizing <laughs> tissues. Just regular tissue. Moisturizing? They're not very cute, though. So plain. How come your tissues don't have cartoons on them? Jesus Christ, these kids, man. <laughs> what are we looking for? Those tissues that you recommended the other day? They're in stock. At last. <laughs> recommended? It's going to be like a cutesy one, eh? 312 yen per box? That's insane! <gasps> They're actually here. It's a bit pricey, but so worth it. Oh, it must be <laughs> quality ingredients. Why does he care about tissue ingredients? It is important for a tissue to smell good and to be soft as well. Hmm? What is up with all this has talk about tissues? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's even really uh, holding it for him. As me, so far, I know. They are a quality product. I'm good. <laughs> no, he I'll bought a different kind. Cheap five pack of tissues. <laughs> cheap. Expensive tissues are much softer. They are known as moisture rich tissues. <laughs> they contain absorbing <laughs> ingredients like glycerin and sorbitol, which suck up moisture from the air. It makes them the best tissue brand on the market. <laughs> Plus, it makes the tissue sweet. They're sweet? Does he mean the smell? I guess those tissues he gave us when he moved in were pretty pricey. Oh. I've never met a four-year-old mm. who was so picky about tissues. Strange. What's the symbolism behind that now, man? You know? Coming up next, it's truth time. So tell me something true about you. Kurdo's gonna make me like look at dodgeball and tissue paper in like a sad way now. I remember when I was little, there was a 
time when I was all alone because my parents stopped coming home. What did you do? I was so hungry that after a while I ate all the tissues in the house just to keep <sighs> starving. Tissues? Yeah. God. Tissues can taste pretty sweet when you're hungry. Oh my god, man. Sweet? Plus, it makes the tissue sweet. Jeez. <sighs> the other day. The tissues that you bought. This breaks my heart every time I watch this, man. You're not alone, so you don't need to eat tissues anymore. <sighs> Which means the ingredients don't matter. You're right. Man. I am not alone. Oh my god. <laughs> he ate those tissues. Damn, for, four, for a five-year-old, this guy can cook good. <laughs> Thank you for this food. He's eating alone though, man. First. Are you well marinated, sir, meat and potatoes? Damn, that looks good. <laughs> Makes me want to cook right now. <laughs> um, you, you think that you're tender enough? I wonder how we learn how to cook then. Yeah. I guess living on your own, you have to learn, right? Yeah. Here, the bulletin. Ah, uh, yes. We see it like this. You do? It's just so sad, man. I can't. Do you have the clipboard? Good evening, Lady Mizuki. You got good tries, sir? But of course. <laughs> Woohoo! He's so Good! welcoming too. I like. know. Totally pay you back for the ingredients. Hey, do you think you got room for one more? Uh, no. no <laughs> Come on, Cotero. <laughs> Why are you like that? Is this me, or is it weird that he made all that food just for himself? Huh? Salutations. Hi. Oh, he's it's doing a little so house party. There. Can I help with anything? Oh. Please come in and relax. Dude, oh, okay. he's a five-year-old who's cooking and like hosting a party. A yeah. Meal all day long. <laughs> and it sure sounds like there'll be plenty of food. <laughs> Look, he's on yeah, the stool. <laughs> I didn't realize this would be a buffet. <laughs> I have curated some lovely background music. Background music. <laughs> he's being the perfect host, but Kotaro, is this the only dish you made? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> What is your problem? Didn't anyone ever teach you manners? I just meant... Just what is the matter uh, with you? Believe me when I tell uh, you. This meat and vegetable stir fry is absolutely delicious. <laughs> In the company of their friends instead uh -huh. of extra food. Oh. I don't need dishes to keep me company. Oh. Are you okay? Just no. He doesn't Please need... Do you already said? Yeah, dishes. He doesn't need them to keep him company. Is that so? In that case, who would like seconds? Seconds. Me too. Indeed. Now I'm gonna look at dishes in a sad way. Dishes, tissues, and dodgeball. Come on, Kotaro. Okay, sir Hijiki. So these are like his friends. To keep him company because he doesn't have family. And they like. Him washing the dishes is like kind of kills time in a way, right? Yeah. Time to start the day. I've been there. <laughs> I'm exhausted. My class, who I never see smile. Kotaro <laughs> hasn't smiled once in the whole time I've known him. Is he just bored of kindergarten? Would you play the role of the smiling son, if you please? What? <laughs> He wants to play the character that's always smiling. I am very good at fake smiling. Oh, oh. <laughs> fake smiling. <laughs> oh, now I'm gonna look at the sun in a bad way. <laughs> oh. oh my god. He really does have a great smile. It's kind of true. We haven't really seen him smile much in this show, hey? No. You, I don't think I've seen him smile once. I think I've only seen him smile once. Yeah, I don't remember him smiling. Oh, that, oh, yeah. yeah. But that was barely a smile. I wonder if he's trying to act the way he thinks that people around him want him to. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's weird to see him smile, actually, though. Like, it's very weird. Yeah. Because we just not used to it, man. And you can tell it's fake, right? Ugh. See, look, everyone's with their parents and he's by himself. Yeah. Maybe you could show us that smile even when you're not in the play? I find it easier to fake me smile. I think you might be the same as I am. Oh, what? he can read? To smile all day long. He can read her. Especially when you are feeling tired. So sometimes you make yourself <laughs> How do... God, Kodoro, you're so amazing, I man. I see through the fake smile. Yeah. 
a person with a fake smile can always tell, right? Like when someone else is pretending to be happy. Yeah. Indeed. But I won't tell. <laughs> Thank you, Kotaro. He's such a light. You know what I mean? Like he's he's everyone's light except for himself. That's what just It's sad. Oh man, like a depressed person can always tell when someone's pretending hey, to be happy. We're gonna grab yeah. a bite to eat after work. You should come with us. And I promised a friend I'd go watch it with them. Mm. So I don't know if he'll remember. Oh, someone from his past? But he did remember. Dun 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 dun. Yes, it is me. <laughs> Who's this? Here to save the day again. Slash slash oh, no, slash. <laughs> I am super strong and kind. Uh -huh. I'm the strongest there is. Tono Saban. <laughs> Who is this guy, man? Time no see, Kotaro. To apologize for running away from the group home without saying Ooh. goodbye. Look at the orphanage. You all deserved much better than that. It wasn't your fault. We heard your dad tracked you down. You did what you had to do to keep yourself safe. If we stay out here too long, they'll think we ran away. <laughs> Kotaro, guess what? Next summer, we should be able to see the Perseid meteor shower pretty clearly from up oh, here. Oh, he was... He was also in the group want, home, yeah. right? Oh, I thought he... And watch it together. No. I thought he Would worked like there. With me? No, he oh, was 18. He's... Yeah. I... Oh, man. I promise. And he remembered the promise, you know? Suryota. I just wanted something to remember. <sighs> I'm very sorry. It's the first time you're like seeing emotion come from Kotaro. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, it's okay. You alright? And I couldn't have asked for a better person. Gonna pause it for a sec? Me too. At least we're finding out more about him now, eh? Yeah. Come bearing Sir Karino's manuscript. Why? Where's Karino? My dear neighbor is incapacitated <laughs> with a sudden cold. May I ask? It means are dangerous. Are you working on a Sunday because you find yourself in financial trouble? Uh, no. That you are eating properly? Uh, when did he become my doctor? <laughs> yes, I'm okay. He's concerned. My wife takes extremely good care of me. What? Hmm? You were able to get married? Wow. Kotaro is so savage, man. What do you mean? Just that you've spent so much time getting good at your job. Then I'm sure your kids really miss you. I think this go is going to go back to his father, you. probably. Uh, I think I hit a nerve. I think his mom. Hmm. Mom or dad, right? To take a field trip? We have some Tono Saman merch. Oh. I'll be there. <laughs> then we are off. But after perusing said merch, I will take my leave of you. <laughs> wow. Mm. That's like heaven for him. <laughs> I am overwhelmed. You have held up your end of our agreement. Thus I will go. <laughs> well, it's the first time you probably played, right? Yeah. God, now I won't look at video games the same either. <laughs> oh my god. Take that home with you. <laughs> this is the happy dance Tono Simon doll from the premiere of season one. Always worried about everyone else. Yeah. I'm oh. so sorry about Sunday. You know I have a wife and kids, don't you? What? <laughs> what? Don't look so shocked. <laughs> Whatever. Everyone's so shocked by you it. You might not notice it because you don't have kids of your own. I thought it might be good for him to have some fun. Yeah. Be able to act like a kid for a little while. I can come back over on the weekday. <laughs> he wants to play with all the games and stuff, <laughs> and toys. Yeah. Oh, it's like the first time you're seeing him being a kid as well. Yeah. Like the very few times. I will purchase all of them. What? Uh, so he, she doesn't need to carry seriously? them. I noticed that you have gained a fair amount of weight in a short time. <laughs> she doesn't know that she's pregnant? <laughs> hey, baby. Oh, I guess he doesn't know where babies come from, I bet, eh? I promise you, no one is forcing me to eat the things I can't sell. <laughs> He's buying it because he thought they were forcing her to eat so it? Jeez. Indeed. 
born? Of course. You were born from the love between your mom and your dad. Hmm. All babies are. I... I see. This one has already brought see, so much joy to his me. wonderment left Dad, when he found out. Was I a gift? Ugh. To us, yes, you are a gift, Kodoro. <laughs> yeah. Another candy bar and seven days worth of journal entries written to the generous donor. <laughs> Bought a lot of wieners today. <laughs> do my best to bring joy what does that mean Kodoro episode five god damn this oh episode was a heavy hitter like this one I feel like all episodes are heavy hitters but this but, one man this had a lot this had a but, lot of like yeah moments. this one like really gets you to like know him like yeah. the tissues part like Oof. oh my god the box of tissues that like tissues eating part, it alone that tissue eating so it when sad. you're alone yeah when someone is leaving you alone, you don't know what to do, then you eat the tissues because they're sweet. Yeah, like at first you're like, why? Like now it kind of goes back to the first episode of why tissues are so important to him. Why he gave tissues to everyone. Yeah, because in his mind, like maybe that's all he knew of like comfort was eating tissues. And when he was like, like when uh, he was giving like the tissues to the students at the at his school and then like you figure out like he's so obsessed with like the ingredients and tissues like oh they're so sweet and at first you're like oh, oh like okay like maybe just the, the way it feels on your skin and then his neighbor um I always, it out. I always forget the neighbor's name i already know yes him Shin i'm really bad with names but um yeah and then you then he's watching like a news like um a news article or something like that on on tv, TV and yeah. then you you hear like that person saying like oh yeah i see tissues the same and then when he says like yeah because they taste sweet and then it goes back to when Kodoro said that to him I'm like oh my god Kodoro it makes them sweet when they're like this when they have this yeah so you, oh you figure god. out that he was eating tissue paper like that's so my god and it's so heartwarming when Karino told him that you know you're not alone now yeah, you, you don't need to buy, buy this expensive like expensive one. tissues because you're never gonna be alone anymore to the point that you have to eat tissues yeah. yourself then we, that is yeah crazy. and then we and then we go to the dishes of him cooking like a big meal for himself oh and then you see like he has like you know eight or nine or ten dishes all around at first you know his like neighbors are seeing it and they're like oh that's like weird why you have so many yeah. dishes and then you find out like it's because like dishes are his comfort they're they're his company yeah they're his friends you know and it's like he's like hosting a party with the with all of the dishes <laughs> yeah. right so heartbreaking and then like when he invites all of the neighbors to his house and there's only one dish with like their own rice bowls and then they're like oh i thought you're gonna have like a lot of dishes and he's like and his mind's like i don't need to have a lot of dishes tonight because this is my company right yeah and, that is like yeah that. and then you kind of figure out like why he has so many dishes like aids is it's the company and then like when he's washing them maybe it's to help like kill time so that yeah. you know like it's it's to occupy his time like he has like a relationship with his dishes like that is how lonely he is like oh my god at yeah. the basis of it it's so like it can be brushed off as like oh he just you know that's just his company no that's his life now like mm -hmm. he doesn't have someone he can call up and be like hey let's hang out let's have a dinner party even though he has the neighbors he's still getting to know them for the most part but to him it's still second nature with the dishes right mm -hmm. so yeah man it's just and then like, like we go through like you know we go to where like his teacher is like doing a fake smile oh, like you know broken, that he understands and that's like you know that resounds so true for people like who who knows like you know who kind of got gets through like you know who who's going through pain they can they can see when someone <sighs> else is going through pain and like hiding it with a fake smile yeah and it's just and it's true in this like whole series like we don't see kodoro smile that much no it was, and like not even open wide smile no it's more like just like a soft smile i was like saying that to him like i don't like remember him ever smiling like the one time when he as you said like he kind of it wasn't even a smile it's just like the first time he was kind of like happy yeah and when um his neighbor drew the pictures on his bandage yeah. right but and, and as it was so um it was so genuine of Kotaro when he was talking to his teacher and like again all the other kids live in their own life and I mean you can't blame them they're just kids but Kotaro yeah. he's 
he's had to live life on his own and he's he's had to grow up a lot more right yeah. so he can sense sadness and he yeah. can sense darkness and he can sense when someone is not being their their true self and that's yeah. why he like he knew for a while that his teacher was sad and tired and mm -hmm. you know when he wanted to um be in that play and he wanted to be like the fake or i mean sorry um he wanted to be the son and yeah. he's saying like oh i'm very good at doing a fake smile and they're like why don't you try a real smile and he's like i'm better at doing a fake smile i'm like come on man like kind of kind of like oh. giving giving people what you know what they want or yeah. like just doing it for other people and he always looks out for other people that's the thing about this like he has his own sadness but yeah. he's always looking out for everybody else man mm -hmm. but and then we come across this other character that oh yeah and then like kind of getting delve delve into more of his past yeah so with this he, other guy in the orphanage yeah from the group home that he was in um you know i guess they made a promise to each other that in a year that they'll go and see um i guess like um like the shooting stars together yeah. and then you see that story and you and you kind of see where a bit of kotaro's wonderment came from too yeah and you just see their relationship and you just you know, you are witnessing Kotaro's more of his backstory and like And you saw a little bit like and at the end there, like you saw pictures of him and the other kids, like you know, the other kids in the orphanage yeah. too. It's like thank God he has a picture of them. Yeah, and like to him, like photos is such a beautiful thing to hold because you know he doesn't take a lot of pictures and because he can't. Oh, and you know what? Maybe that's why he doesn't like I mean, he doesn't like getting his picture taken because of his father, but like maybe it also reminded him of that time in the uh, group home with all these kids and stuff like that too like i think it just you're you're just seeing more of the psyche behind kotaro right and no he's just afraid that it's gonna get to his dad but like you know he he kept that he kept the camera so that he can you know um he can remember the other the other children mm -hmm. too there because those were her, his family too yeah. before he went there Again, it was very it was a very beautiful moment. I'm glad that we are yeah. kind of finding out a bit more of his backstory and like from his group home that he had people that cared about him and that he had to run away from the group home because his father was like found yeah. out where he was. And like the like the fact that he's that scared, like he would rather run away and be alone than to go back with his father. So we still don't know what's what happened with yeah. his father. Like the fact that he would rather live life on his own than be with his father. Like yeah. how bad was his father then? It was just and it's always so nice too to see like you know when people like um when people looks out for kotaro like i know yeah. in the whole series like a lot of people always looks out for kotaro but it's always just so damn nice yeah. whenever they do and especially that manga editor guy yeah like when he like you know was showing kotaro around and kotaro is just so excited and actually asked to come there to go back again and not on a weekend but on a weekday <laughs> it's because he was finally able to be a kid and play with you know the video games and play with the toys and just he didn't have to like cook for himself. He didn't have to bathe himself. He didn't have to like look out for himself. He could just be a kid in that moment. And, and it's just it's nice. so beautiful. Yeah. And it's nice too that, you know, there is a parent there, like, you know, that manga editor guy who's a parent that's not like thinking that Koro is weird. Yeah. That like, you know, that's saying that Koro is too mature and trying to give Koro, like, you know, a little bit of wonderment in his yeah. life. It's like, and that it was, is. It was amazing. so heartwarming too when, um, Kotaro told uh, the manga guy that like, yo, you have kids? Go be with your kids. Go be with your wife. It's Sunday. Why are you working? And yeah. Like, he's so... Like, Kotaro is an old soul trapped in, like, you know, a young person's body because... I mean, and I think it's it's by design now because of his abandonment, but yeah. it, it was just beautiful. And then, like, that kind of goes towards the end where, you know, he... Um, he, he <laughs> he didn't know where babies came from and he <laughs> yeah. thought that one um that uh food sampler lady yeah. in the supermarket like <laughs> um, he, he he didn't know that she was pregnant he just thought like the store was saying like you need to eat all these free samples if you do not sell them or whatever i right? thought i honestly thought that he was buying it just so he does she doesn't have to carry them i thought that well, was it I, I first thought like oh he's buying it so that he, like so that um that lady kind of gets credit from her boss like oh wow you sold all this product yeah. but then it's even more heartbreaking obviously <laughs> and, and then he, then when he figures out where kids are coming like where kids are born or sorry how, how kids. kids are born and it's like she says like oh when like um like a father and a wife they love each other and you know yeah, they they create a baby out of love and then yeah oh, and man. babies are a gift and yeah, then you know she asking, starts questioning it's like am is I a gift? gift yeah 
and in then he told like you know and then in one of his entry that he gave oh, to that man. year to At that end, yeah. to kobayashi like saying that you know he'll do his best to be a joy to everyone it's just oof like oh my god this kid this, this anime is just it's so good but it's so hard to watch because it's like and this particular like we have notes on kind of like what happened i didn't even realize because you get so enthralled in the episode you kind of forget <laughs> the amount of sadness yeah. in it. But when we were writing down just a bit of our notes just to, uh, you know i didn't realize like this so much happened in this particular episode and it was it was a very good episode i think so far this is probably one of my favorite this one or the bento one i think that was oh, episode yeah. two Though, I mean, they're all really great in their own way, but like for some reason, I just like, um, I mean, I like this one because we're seeing more of Kotaro's personality come out. We're seeing more of his history. Yeah. But yeah, very, very crazy. For me, I love them all. Yeah, they're all, I they're all good. Wanted. They all have their own treasures. Like you could put any of these episodes on for anybody. And I think it could tell the story in its own way yeah. too, right? Like, I don't think you like, yes, you'll get more of a better story if you watch them all. But yeah. like, for some reason, every single episode or every single segment of each of the episodes, you could just play for somebody. And like, that's how good the storytelling is in this, in this show is that like, you get kind of the, what the show's about and you see you know where Kotaro is coming from and his sadness and his past it's, it's just it's very beautiful yeah anyways this is gonna be probably a bit of a longer one but uh this this episode was very like very touching very very sad but it was a very in-depth one i really love this episode yes i know but yeah thank love you it. all again for watching um we're almost on Kotaro. Ooh, we're halfway halfway done you know um but yeah thank you all again for watching and for and subscribing liking if you haven't done so please you know give this yeah. video a like subscribe if you're into like music and anime we do all of that and we'll be throwing in some random videos every once in a while but <laughs> it's mainly like anime and music which we love and um yeah you know what give us suggestions once kotaro lives alone is is finished is there any other animes like that are kind of in the same genre as this or a bit more i wouldn't say lighthearted because this is not a lighthearted anime but i mean i'm like we're, we're trying to venture out of shonen and we're trying to just like see you know more slice like i mean she loves I, she he's life. trying to venture out yeah, I'm, I'm all i'm already in this field yeah but like i i kind of like this type of like i wouldn't call this slice of life but this kind of not really slice of life but this is the type of anime i kind of i'm starting to like right now so you know give us some suggestions if you know if you made it this far in the video but yeah <laughs> anyways, we'll see you in the next video. Yeah, see you.